And this myth number two here is always right in the same vein of that, is that the paleo diet is a low carbohydrate diet. Paleo diet is not a low carbohydrate diet. In fact, if you, if you look at true application of it, there's really no reason for it to be low carbohydrate. There's really, you're not trying to um, drop the carbs to offset the inflammation. I mean, it's just not doing any of those things. And if you look, I gave you some examples up here. These are the ones that, that I really like to promote as a good place to start as far as carbohydrate induction. Most people know about fruits as being a good source of carbohydrates. However, we want to go beyond that because the question is, well, if I'm taking out the grains, then what am I going to use as my carbohydrates? I mean, some of you in the room are more athletic individuals. You, uh, you need that energy to be able to carry out your activities. So you've got to have an energy source. And obviously, I mean, the, the science is very clear in the fact that glucose is your body's preferred energy source, so we do need some carbohydrates, but what's a more balanced source of those? If you look at squash, these are a few squash varieties, your butternut, your acorn, your spaghetti squash, uh, your tubers, you, uh, you can think about those as being more or less root vegetables, uh, your yucca, yucuma, uh, potato and yams, and then of course uh, things like I mentioned earlier, okra, and then rutabagas and turnips. Those are all foods that tend to be higher in carbohydrates. Those are also foods that most people don't tend to eat a lot of, but they're good sources of carbohydrates. Uh, and then I mentioned that the low carbohydrate strategy is not really an ideal strategy long term. Because there's consequences that come along with that too. Probably the best example I can give you on that, just to throw a, a diet name out there that you may be familiar with, is the Atkins diet. Atkins starts from really high protein, almost, or absolutely no carbohydrates, and then they keep backing out the amount of carbohydrates. There's a reason they do that. It's because it recognizes that your body trying to run on no carbohydrate intake is not really a sound practice. It puts a lot of excess burden on your body.